So hopefully everyone's in the right place um, and is expecting to see this title. So today we're going to be covering how to supercharge your engagement strategy with an omni-channel experience. Um, my name is Liam Ryan. I am the product marketing manager for automation and AI. And today I'm joined by Geordie Hamilton. Do you want to introduce yourself, Geordie? Yeah, thanks for that, Liam. My name is Jordan Hamilton. I'm a solution consultant here at Bullhorn. I'll be running you through the demonstration today and hopefully answering any questions that you might leave in the chat for us. Cool. Perfect. So what are we going to be covering today? So we're going to be covering how market conditions are affecting talent acquisition, uh, very important in today's day and age, why omnichannel engagement is important and how it helps you to win. So then we're going to cover some best practices and how you can maintain engagement. And then, as Geordie said, we're going to be going into a demonstration of Bullhorn Automation and how that can help you to deliver the service experience that you need. And then finally, we're going to be covering off with a question and answer session. Please obviously feel free to use the question and answer box to uh, put any questions in there as we go through. So kicking off, what's happening in today's market? Um, so you might have heard following the challenges of COVID that we're currently experiencing a shortage of talent in today's market. Uh, and this is something that's being felt globally. I know most people already know this, but it's hard not to tell with all these um, media articles that are out there. And there's a few examples on the screen now um, across the globe, um, obviously showing that, that talent shortage and how it's being felt. Um, and what this ultimately means is that as agencies, um, we need to work harder to not only attract talent, but also to amplify the experience that talent has with you as agencies in order to maintain engagement. Now, an engaged talent pool is really important. Um, and an engaged talent pool is one that is highly receptive to you, um, is interested in what you have to say. So educational content that you might send out um, and it's happy to refer you to others. So that really helps with the lack of talent that's in the market at the moment and the high stakes with regards to multiple agencies are targeting the same talent. You need to maintain an engaged talent pool to be able to, to compete in this market. And what does a highly engaged talent pool mean to you as an agency? Well, it means less dropouts in the hiring process because they're engaged with you. It means reduced time to fill. And it means more referrals and redeployment, redeployments and finally more placements. So it's critical in today's market that we maintain an engaged talent pool as agencies to rely on that um, flow of candidates to be able to fill our job with. But what are candidates currently feeling? So the good news is, is that they want to work with recruiters. Um, candidates like the human interaction and they love the consultative guidance provided to them as part of their job search. Um, but in reference to the previous slide, they are craving a better experience and this results in a lack of engagement. So the key stats there are 50% have given up on a job uh, because the process too, took too long. So again, engagement wanes as the process is too lengthy. 43% uh, cited poor communication as the primary reason for having uh, a poor experience. And then 93% um, obviously have looked at, of our freelance workers have really looked at the online talent platforms and how easy they are to use to be able to find jobs. The key thing is there's a clear opportunity here for agencies um, to provide the experience that candidates crave. Uh, and effectively those that do have the opportunity for rapid potential growth. It's when times are hard that those that react best rise to the top and use this as an opportunity to break into new ground. So we've got a great opportunity within the market at the moment. It's highly competitive. Um, we need to make sure that we have an engaged talent pool to be able to best serve that market. But what we're hearing from candidates is they want to work with agencies, but they want a better experience to keep them engaged within the processes. Um, at the beginning of the year, uh, Bullhorn performed its grid survey to capture the thoughts of, of agencies like you. Um, and as you can see, these follow suit with the news headlines that we've been seeing and hearing with uh, candidate acquisition and experience high on the priority list, um, even more than winning clients, which is very surprising in the sense that it's probably the first time that we've had winning clients not being the top of that pile. Um, what's really interesting as well is that digital transformation is high on the agenda. Um, and this really shows that agencies are starting to realize technology is an enabler for them. Um, and it's an enabler to help them to create the service required to win in the current market. So really interesting set of stats here. 
key thing again is that a lot of agencies like yourselves are looking at candidate acquisition as their key goals for the coming year and experience is highly up there as well and this is across the globe um, but as we have a, a primarily UK audience, um, if we dive into UK specifically, um, it's very similar to the global theme, um, but with more emphasis on, on winning clients. So the opportunity here really is to um, promote with clients an understanding of the market. So uh, the way that you're going to be able to win more clients is obviously how you can approach them with I'm providing great experience. I understand the market conditions at the moment, and this is what we're doing to ultimately um, provide that great candidate experience and deliver to you as a as a client. Um, but diversifying business is also an interesting one at the bottom there, um, and really that sort of suggests that UK agencies are looking for for more revenue streams out of the norm to supplement their usual business. But again, the key messaging here is as well is around that candidate acquisition, that candidate experience, um, and how you can use obviously the approaches to best engage with um, candidates to attract new clients and also diversify um, your operations. So we've we've covered the market conditions. Um, we know that there's a shortage. We know that they're looking for a better experience in terms of candidates. Um, and that kind of experience is a critical factor. But why are we why are we looking at an omni-channel strategy? Why have, why is what is the purpose of this webinar? Um, well, as you can see here on this slide, that's because there are significant changes happening in workforce dynamics. Um, we now have a talent pool made up of four demographics each of their own preferences, each of their own motivations, traits and perspectives. And the key question we need to ask ourselves is how can we meet all their expectations if we focus on one or two areas? Um, so as you can see, you've got baby boomers there who are most uh, interested or their preferences are around communication are face to face and email. You've got Generation X, they're sort of chilled. They like whatever is easiest. You've got millennials whose main um, driving preference is SMS and social. And then you've got Generation Z that are coming into the workforce um, gradually uh, who are most interested or most um, adapted to social and uh, instant messaging, such as instant messaging through things like chatbots. So you've got a huge spectrum there of different communication methods, different personalities, different um, ways of, of engaging with people and maintaining that engagement is different across those four. Uh, some of you on the call might think, OK, well, we only deal with one or two demographics. Why is it important to have that omnichannel strategy? Um, well, in this sense, you know, there's an opportunity to, to diversify, as we saw from the UK um, grid research on the previous slide, diversification is high on the agenda for many UK agencies. This is a great opportunity to introduce omni-channel engagement, to be able to, to diversify into jobs that are more applicable to certain demographics. Um, and more importantly, on that point, you need to be thinking about the future as well. So as time moves on, obviously the younger generations will become more prominent in the talent pool. So for example, millennials already make up 40% of that talent pool. So if you've not got an SMS or a social communication strategy, it's probably a uh, time that you had one. And also how they actually work and interact with recruiters is obviously different to the other demographics. And soon you'll be left with three demographics, the Generation Z, the Millennials and the Generation X that, as you can see on the slide, they cover the full um, spectrum of communication in regards to preference. So it's vitally important that you have an omnichannel strategy that caters for the different communication methods that are expected from the talent pool. So in terms of omnichannel communication, you truly require uh, that as part of your strategy. And the key thing is to work smarter, not harder. And that's the element of automation that Borhorn Automation brings into this. Uh, there's no point having all of these different communication methods if you're not using them, if they're not in sync with one another, um, or if they're um, if they're completely disparate from each other. So the key thing here is that we need to use technology to deliver an omnichannel communication strategy. And we need to back that with um, automation to provide a great experience. So things like automated recruiter reminders to to make phone calls to make phone calls on time 
automated email and SMS to remind candidates of interviews, video to enhance the human experience, um, and chatbot and instant messaging to provide, for example, pre-screening questionnaires that candidates can do in their own time um, on a platform that they prefer. Those are all examples of omni-channel in action. But the key thing there is that we need to have those communication methods, but they need to work together. And that's really we need to get across as part of um, that omni-channel experience is that this is omni-channel communication and not multi-channel. So you may be thinking, OK, we already use some of these communication methods, we already use email, we already use the phone, we already use SMS. But the important factor with omni-channel is that the, each of these methods work together. They're all synced with one another. Data is captured back to the ATS automatically and basic communication reminders are automated. Um, the key thing here is that you want your communication to feel like an all-in-one experience. So you want to avoid duplication. You want everything synced together. You don't want an SMS going out to remind someone of pre-screening and then exactly the same message goes out in chatbot, for example, or goes out in an email. You don't want to come across as um, overly robotic. You don't want it to be hev too heavily automated. You want the personalization that you get with something like a chatbot where you have a conversation with somebody on there rather than an email or an SMS, which is very informal. And equally, you want information on demand. So things like surveys and chatbot, whilst SMS, email and phone are, are prominent um, in terms of communication methods, more often than not, they can't be 24 seven. And that's where things like instant messaging, like the digital experiences that some of the younger generations um, prefer, those come into their own because they are 24 seven always on. So omnichannel communication, the key thing here is it's not multi-channel. It's not about just using different communication methods. It's all about working together in a uh, synced and um, automated program that feels like an all-in-one experience. So introducing chatbot, so uh, some people may have heard that we are bringing a chatbot to market. Um, effectively, it operates as a 24-7 digital recruiter. So we do have a webinar at the end of the month that goes into a deep dive into the chatbot alongside its launch at the end of but being here as part of omni-channel strategy. Uh, and as you can see from the screen, um, the, uh, the chatbot feels like a, an extension of your website. It's on your website, it's in the same um, in the same format as your website and feels like a real digital experience for candidates. Um, so it's a key component of the omni-channel engagement. It helps you offer that great digital experience. So again, uh, the younger demographics are really gonna interact with this well. And it's a great uh, backup to recruiters for um, helping them with um, productivity gains, such as being able to palm off uh, basic questions or pre-screening questionnaires, for example, to the chatbot rather than doing that manually. It operates on a 24-7 basis, so it's effectively your 24-7 digital recruiter. Um, you know, candidates, they expect service at speed, um, submitting and obtaining information, doing pre-screening, answering basic questions, understanding what jobs are available to them. They can all be put through the chatbot. And as I said, increasing recruiter productivity is a key element that the uh, chatbot can provide with regards to taking that busy work admin load away from the recruiter. Um, things like pre-screening, basic profile capture, answering standard questions throughout the hiring process can all be catered for throughout the chatbot. So please sign up to the chatbot webinar um, at the end of the month. It's a great piece of functionality that's part of Borehole Automation uh, and bringing it to market um, over the next month. So we've gone through sort of omni-channel engagement, why it's so important to meet the needs of the market, but what are the best practices that you can follow as part of your engagement strategy? Um, but as we've seen, you need to be using the right tooling um, to meet the communication preferences um, of the various demographics. Um, but you also need to incorporate automation into your workflows. Uh, and this is really about ensuring communication and processes, uh, as well as your data are up to date to deliver that great experience. You don't want these scenarios where people are forgetting to send messages out to candidates. Um, communication is, is being missed because it's not automated or it's been left to the recruiter to manually do. And that's, you know, a lot of people will, will already be aware of automation and how important it is. And it can go without saying, but it's really critical that automation again works as part of that strategy of all the different communication uh, methods. And then finally, you need to measure your success. You need to you know, work out what's working and what's not. 
how can you how can you see what's working and what's not is a particular segment or particular demographics that you're working well with that are really engaged with you as part of that engaged talent pool and maybe there's some that aren't that you need to look at in terms of how you interact with them and then more importantly what are the opportunities to improve? Are there certain demographics that we're not getting a lot of engagement with that we could potentially do um, with, say, the chatbot, for example? Um, are there low margin roles that we can completely automate the experience um, with regards to using a chatbot, using SMS, um, using email to be able to take the burden away from recruiter and potentially process more client jobs? So measure is key. And again, Geordie will be going through this um, and how we can do that within Bullhorn Automation in the demonstration. And then this is a bit of a, a shameless plug on automation, but if you're not using um, automation, whatever platform it might be, then you really should be. So these are the sort of figures that we've got from Bullhorn Automation in, over time. So these are, the, these are the numbers of automations that are being run per year. And as you can see, it's gonna, um, 2022 is due to go over a billion automations from Bullhorn customers. So those customers are already adopting omni-channel engagement strategies, automation strategies to provide that best candidate experience that they can. And finally, for those potentially still thinking that candidates just won't use some of these communication methods and I don't need an omni-channel approach, uh, what we've got here is data from our survey usage. So many existing customers will, will know about surveys and how you can use them. Um, and I'm sure many doubted whether candidates will fill in online surveys for pre-screening, but the data shows adoption has been really fast. If it's the, the, fundamentally, if it's easier and a better experience for candidates, they will use it, they will recommend it, and they will refer you purely because of the experience that they've had. So you can see there's significant growth since 2019 in the adoption of surveys and surveys being used within our Bullhorn Automation customers. Um, so absolutely, we see the omnichannel engagement only going to grow into the future and become sort of table stakes uh, to be able to match candidates' expectations with regards to the experience they have with agencies. A lot of information that I've gone through there, but I'm now going to pass you over to Geordie and he can show you how this can happen in Bullhorn Automation. Thanks for that, Liam. Uh, Liam, I should say. <laughs> I'll go ahead and share my screen and we can hop straight in. Now, in terms of that approach, what I want to do is really talk to you around what the candidate would see and what they would experience. So rather than dig into the, the kind of nuts and bolts of how you build this, I want to show you what that actually looks like to a candidate and, and how they would engage with your brand going forward. If we have a quick look at my inbox here, pretend that we're a candidate, you can see that I am currently looking at an email from Acme Recruiters. And this is our kind of fake recruitment company that's basically welcoming my candidate here, James, into the fold. And basically what we've got is, again, an email that could be received by a candidate automatically based on them applying to a job or signing up for a role or even just dropping their details off at your website. As long as they've come into the Bullhorn system, we can start to take them through these sorts of journeys by welcoming them into sorts of processes. And again, this could be a welcome email with of course a call to action there for the candidate to confirm their details. The great thing about this is that we've all signed up for things online before. We all kind of understand what that natural next step is in order for me to confirm my details. And what we're doing at this point is actually not only capturing their engagement, but verifying that that email address is real. Okay, so once you click on that one, we're then taken into a separate tab where over the top of your website, you would have what we call a survey. And this is a way of you, you capturing certain answers from candidates. Again, it could be pre-screen questions and these can be formatted in various ways. It could be what type of work you're interested in, perm, contract, temp, where are you located? What visa do you have? Are you eligible to work in the UK or a certain country that you might be recruiting in? So again, you can start to set up what these journeys and questionnaires look like and they can select the answers that are relevant to them allowing them to either choose one or more values and of course fill in different text items such as a phone number. I'll just skip through this one so we can get through it because here we can also capture things like dates as well as GDPR preferences as well, allowing you to ensure that consent's being captured a part of this new applicant process. Once they're done, we can then drop them off at your website and this will allow them to then interact with your brand. And again, this could be going through things like searching for jobs or looking at your services, depending on the person you're speaking to. And all of these details are of course tracked. Every answer they've provided you is also gonna flow back into Bullhorn into whichever field you'd like. And again, that could be a standard field or a custom field. So depending on the sorts of questions that you're asking from candidates at this stage, they can of course self-service themselves and get that information back into your Bullhorn system without it being an email in someone's inbox for them to action. 
as the candidate clicks through, again, we can also start tracking what these clicks are. And you can also see in the bottom right-hand corner, there's the chat bot there, which is available for the candidate to have a conversation with. So again, we've got the pre-screen questions happening. The candidate can start to then click around the website, look at things like jobs and so on. And if they need any additional help, they can of course click on the little chat bot as well. The questions that we've also provided to that candidate can be displayed in that chatbot too. I've got another example of that here on the next page, uh, which of course allows me to start a conversation with me appearing at this website after, for example, looking at maybe something like a blog post or a reminder email that just says, hey, candidate first name, thanks for the visit today. What are you looking for? Do you wanna to speak to the recruiter? Do you wanna find relevant jobs or maybe update my, up, uh, my information that's in the system already? For something as basic as speaking to my recruiter, this is probably where we see a lot of candidates are probably wanting to find that stage. They just very quickly wanna know the contact details for either the company they're looking to speak to or the person they've spoken with in the past. And again, within one click, the chatbot can go ahead, have a look at Bullhorn, see who's owning that record, and of course, provide their contact details available in the screen here. Now, as Lean introduced before, we also have this omni-channel approach. And what we can say is, would you like to schedule a call or would you prefer to start a text conversation within this case, Eric? If we click on call, that notification can be sent back in to the system and notify Eric that he needs to pick up the phone at some point. Or if we say text, what we can do is actually send a text message to Eric and he can start having that two-way conversation using the Bullhorn messaging platform as well. So again, depending on how the candidate wants to be interacted with, we can provide options for them to do that within the chatbot there. And of course, all this information is gonna be flowing back into Bullhorn too. Now again, a great way of introducing this sort of conversation is of course, where a candidate has already got a relationship with you. And again, we have various examples of what that could be. It could of course be a welcome email. It could also be maybe three, six, nine months down the line, you're sending these sorts of marketing campaigns out to candidates, providing them details of relevant jobs in the system that they might be interested in looking for. Having a look at and links of course, through to the job page. And of course, understanding of the owner of that particular record in the system. So again, creating a really personalized experience for our candidates and wherever they are throughout the process, they're available uh, to, to have the level of contact that they require with, for example, the owner of that record or just someone internally. It could just be a generic uh, person too. Now, there is, of course, the third option whereby a candidate perhaps isn't in your database already. Someone's just found your website on Google, for example. And if we have a look at what that example looks like, you can see the path that I go down as a candidate is a little bit different. From here, the chatbot is saying, look, effectively, I don't actually know who you are. Uh, how can I help you? And again, as a candidate or even a contact, this allows me to take myself down these various paths. If I'm a candidate, I'm looking for work. I've got an option for that. Alternatively, if I'm looking to hire someone and I'm a client, I can go down that path as well. In terms of the interaction with the bot, it's really nice and easy. As a candidate, they can just go ahead and click on, of course, the button and the chatbot will guide them through that process in a very wizard style. So again, they can choose certain values. They can also type values in there as well. Again, it could be permanent, short-term contract, temp, and that sort of thing. Depending on the type of answer that's required, the UI will be different as well. So again, for these set values that are of course are gonna be flowing back into Bullhorn, we want those set values so we can update the system with them. But if the candidate was, was uh, being told to type in things like salary expectations, or of course availability dates, the UI would reflect that type of detail too. And again, depending on the sorts of journey that we take this candidate through, they can type in things like their job title and those details can be passed on to the consultant or of course a human internally to make the decision to take them on that next stage as well. So again, various different ways of interacting with your candidates, be it via email or of course chat in this case. And the great thing again, as I've mentioned a few times now is all of this is flowing back into Bullhorn. So each of these answers, we can of course determine certain parts of the section or certain parts of the system, I should say, where we want those details to go back into. So like the employment preference field on a candidate, the date available field on a candidate and so on. And of course, all the activity from them clicking around the website and so on is also gonna flow back underneath the candidate's record. So in this case, we've got myself and you can see that I'm currently engaged with the automation platform. I can see some emails have been sent. I've opened a few emails over time, but of course my automation score is actually on the lower side because I haven't engaged with the brand recently. This is a field that's available to every record within the system as well. And users can actually see this field and search and filter on it too. So next time you're looking for candidates in a hurry, rather than filtering on just things like skills and categories and so on, what you can also do is add this filter in and suddenly look at more engaged candidates at the top of that list as well, hopefully reducing the time to fill and ensuring that you're working with candidates who are more interested in not only what you're doing, but of course your brand as well. So we've got a few different aspects where we can, of course, tie your website and your candidate experience back into Bullhorn using both email, SMS, and of course, reminding consultants internally when to pick up the phone. 
Hopefully that's given you a bit of a flavor of what we can do within Bullhorn and the automation platform today from an Omnichannel channel perspective. And with that, I'll hand back over to Liam to wrap us up today. Beautiful. Thank you, Geordie. Um, yeah, that's been brilliant. Thank you very much. So in terms of what we covered, thank you for listening. Uh, if there are any questions, please put them in the chat now, but I'll just do a quick overview in terms of what we what we covered. So um, really what we've covered today is how the talent market detect, uh, dictates that an engaged talent pool is required to succeed for agencies. Really critical with the, uh, the great sort of hotting up of talent acquisition, how difficult it is now to uh, succeed with talent acquisition. Um, an omni-channel engagement strategy is crucial to this and in terms of how you achieve this to meet the needs of the talent pool. As we saw, there's multiple different demographics within the talent pool and we need to be using that omni-channel engagement strategy. Again, not multi-channel, omni-channel, multiple communication methods that are all synced together and hopefully we showed that Bullhorn Automation can deliver that omni-channel experience that you need to be able to compete and obviously um, and obviously succeed and grow your, your organization. In terms of next steps before we move on to questions, if you do have any questions or you'd like to have a further demo of Bullhorn Automation, appreciate that Geordie's obviously given you 10 minutes worth of that there. Um, please get in touch with your account manager or by all means through the Bullhorn website, um, arrange a demonstration to go, this, go through this in further detail. And I think uh, Geordie's given a good flavor of the chat bot as well. We have a webinar, as I said, coming at the end of July. Uh, on the 26th. So please sign up for the chatbot webinar there, scan the QR code to register. You can also register through our website um, and there'll be a link to the registration page that goes out with the communications after this webinar. But please absolutely join that webinar. It will go through the chatbot in, in detail, run through how it can help you um, deliver a great experience, improve productivity um, by taking away a lot of admin from the from the recruiters. So absolutely sign up for that, one not to be missed, and is a core component of that omni-channel engagement experience. So we'll just run through some questions. So obviously we've got a few questions with regards to uh, the chatbot as we've just introduced that. Um, will the chatbot be an additional charge? Uh, no, the chatbot won't. So a number of our uh, a number of, of solutions out there will charge for, for a chatbot. Some will be dedicated chatbot services. Uh, some will have a chatbot as part of their solution offering that they charge additionally for. Uh, because we are so dedicated to the omni-channel engagement experience and we, we know that it's uh, in, it's needed or required for our customers succeed, to succeed, sorry, there is no additional charge for the chatbot. It is part of the Bullhorn Automation Enterprise Edition at no additional cost. When will it be launched? Uh, so the chatbot is due to be launched at the end of, of this month um, and people have access to that uh, at this month and, and beyond. Any other questions that we have? Just running through them. Can the chatbot replace live chat? Uh, so no, the chatbot cannot replace um, live chat. So you can use the chatbot throughout the, the website and there's multiple journeys. Um, you can use it for unknown visitors as well. So you can have an unknown visitor chat. Um, that is a default chat that enables you to gather their details and can put them in, 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 uh, in contact with a recruiter. It doesn't operate in the same way as a, a live chat. Um, so obviously most people will be aware that live chat um, services are additional cost per user as well. Um, so you couldn't have a recruiter sat there um, sort of manually typing um, any responses. It's all automated. The beauty is you don't need a recruiter to be able to deliver uh, the answers um, as part of the chatbot experience um, from an agency perspective, but you can't use it uh, as part of a sort of a live chat-esque type, type scenario. Are there any other questions? Did you want to add anything to that, Jordi? No, I think you've you've recapped it pretty well. Okay, cool. No worries. Well, everybody, thanks very much for joining. Hope you found this useful. Um, if you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us. And absolutely, 
please um, sign up for the chatbot webinar at the end of the month. It's going to be a great session delivered by um, Ben Carter, and um, it will give you a good insight into how chatbot can support that omni-channel engagement strategy that I hope we've covered well on this particular webinar. Thanks very much for joining.